Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, we reached 4k subbies. Thank you so much for the support. Okay, so back to the video. So, I've made a poll last Tuesday asking if what videos you want to see next. And the option that has the highest vote is this one, this video. So, for today's video, I will be showing you how to take aesthetic notes in Microsoft Word and on how to make your own template. Without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So for the first part of this video, I will collect some designs, fonts, and so on. So first, search for some dotted beach background on the internet, but don't you worry, I will put the link to this website in the description box so you can check it out. So here it offers some printable dots grid in different sizes. I just use the A4 size since that's the size of my band paper, and after you choose, wait for it to download, then it will be downloaded as a PDF. So first, you have to convert it into an image. So I just open my Wondershare PDF element and choose the convert to image option. So once you convert your PDF, save it to your device. You know what guys, I think to make your digital works aesthetically pleasing, there should be cohesiveness. So my secret to that is finding some color palettes at colorhunt.co. So by the way, this is not sponsored, but I do use Colorhunt, so they offer you a variety of palettes and you can easily copy and paste its color code, so that is much convenient. I will also link this below in the description box. And now we will find some designs that we will use for aesthetic notes and Pinterest is the key to that. So, so open Pinterest in any web browser, then just search for some stickers. It can be vintage or aesthetic vibe pictures, it depends on you, and save it to your device or computer. Lastly, we will download some fonts to use for our notes. So here I'm just gonna search for fontspace.com. Again, don't worry because I will link this down below too. So you can search here a lot of design and there are a ton to choose from. So if you already pick a font, just download it and I will also include the links of the fonts I used in my notes. So once it is done downloading, open the file and click install. Now I will show you how to make your own aesthetic templates. So first, of course, you have to open MS Word and just choose the blank document option. So after that, choose the size of your paper, your paper size. And since I have an A4 size band paper, I will just choose that option. And uh, in the margins option at the top, I just use the moderate option and click custom margins. I'm just gonna change some of the measurements, but it's up to you if how big your margins will be. Um, I just put it like that, that way, because I'm planning to put it in a binder. So after you edit the page size and page margins, I will now put the dotted page as a background. To do that, click the design tab and in the page color, click fill effects. Then choose the picture you converted earlier from a PDF, the dotted grid printable or something. So I'm just gonna choose the dotted A4 size photo and lastly click OK. And there you go, you have your dotted page in Microsoft Word. So after editing the page layout of your template, we will now put some photos, some aesthetic photos. Next, I will put some wavy lines behind it, so click the shapes option, then the curve icon. And here, I'm just basically forming a wave, so to do that, click the location where you want it to start. Then if you want to make a curve in that part, left click on it, drag it anywhere. Then if you want to make a curve in there, left click again, just repeat the process to form a wave. So I'm just gonna fill it in with the color. And again, as what I've said, you can easily copy and paste the color code. So just click on more fill colors and paste the code. I'm just gonna adjust that one. Next, I will insert another shape to fill in the white space at the top. But you can skip this step. While you're doing that wavy line before, you just have to connect the two ends. So once you're done making those waves design, just connect the end part to the first line where it started. I hope you got that. So adjust the photos and I'm gonna insert a text box in here to type in the title. 
I'm gonna choose creamy chocolate for the font and the font size is 72 but if you have those long titles you can still adjust it you can reduce the font size so next I'm gonna add this and it will serve like um, a subtitle or a subtopic title for the lesson or you can also delete it if you're not gonna use it now I'm gonna insert a line in the middle to divide the page and I'm gonna put a text box. So th since this is a template, I'm gonna include words such as topic title, subtopic, and so on. So under that, I will place my notes and I'm gonna use batch crift and uh, a font size of 11 for my notes. Yeah. So I'm gonna insert here a shape and edit it by placing some shadows. So I just make the blur option to zero to have this solid shadow of the shape and I choose a darker color and uh, adjust them like so. So right click on it and click add text and you can now start typing on the shape. Here I just included another shape to put notes that I want to emphasize and, and those that are very important. So I'm just gonna insert again another text box and adding more shapes and so on. So by the way, this photo is just an example. I will not really include this one in my in all of my notes because it can take up space. So I I just this is just an example. So I'm gonna add more elements to my notes like shapes, photos, and so on. So this is my first template looks like. So if you want to save the template, click the file tab. In the save as option, you can browse a folder on where you want to save it. But in order to keep organized, make a specific folder for your templates and name it as Microsoft Word Templates. So edit the file name and in the save as type option, choose Word Template and save it. So if you want to use your template, just click the personal option. Then you can see there your template. So since I already showed you how to make a template, I will just fast forward the next clips on how I made my second template. So again, I just repeated the process. I searched for a color palette, find some photos. I just searched for some sticky notes PNG to put in my notes. So overall, just play around with fonts, with shapes, and color. And again, as what I've done before, I'm gonna place words such as topic, subtopic, and so on. And for my default font, I use Munchcraft font size 11. And for my default font, I just used Munchcraft in the font size 11. And I just basically repeated the process. Yeah.
since we're already done with all of those templates, I just made two templates to show it to you guys. It's now time to make our notes. So I just opened our module in our elements or learning management system and I'm gonna use my second template. But before that, I will just place them side by side. So basically what we're gonna do here is I'm copy pasting my notes but take note that while you're doing it, you can study as well. So it's a win-win situation. I think it do really motivate you to study if your notes are organized and neat. So when you have some additional notes when your professor or teacher discuss the topic, you can include it in your Microsoft Word notes or you can add some shapes and pictures to your notes. So I just want to emphasize this and uh, to remind you, you don't need to have those very very aesthetic notes. My point is you have to prioritize having functional notes, useful notes, than having those pretty aesthetic notes. I hope you got my point. So anyways. Um, doing this can really consume your time, but if you really want to make your nose aesthetic, then you can do it. But make sure that don't devote your full time to that. So just know your priorities first. So. And that is how to make your notes aesthetic using Microsoft Word. So yes, that is all for today's video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and have some ideas for your notes. So yes, thank you so much, guys, for watching. And see you on my next video. Bye, guys.